Hey man, we are TJ Ford, man. Ace Town legend, Hooper legend, uh, extraordinary in Texas in general, man, working with the kids, doing this thing out there at UT. I hear that they support uh, the, the community with everything going on, the cohort and everything like that, man. So I had to come tap in with you real quick, man. Nah, man, honor and a blessing to come out here and really support, um, you know, June 27, which is, you know, the official day for uh, DJ Screw. Uh, a legendary, you know, huge influence in our culture and what we stand for here in Houston, Texas, and being able to see the things that they're trying to do with, you know, Fat Pat, Big Mo, um, Lil Flip was involved with Exotic Pops and something that they're trying to do to continue to allow his legacy to continue to go on. And I, I'm glad that you know he was the inspiration, and that whole body of work at the SUC was the inspiration for not only just the rap community, but you know us as, as athletes um, a, a, as well was a huge impact to get us prepared for our games, and also to be you know travel around the world to show our friends from the East, West, Midwest what we was listening to at that time. They didn't understand it, but to now see you know where the chopped and screwed has evolved into, you know, it's worldwide now, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing, especially being here and coming from Houston. Thanks, man. Shout out to T.J. Ford, man. Willow Ridge, legend. Houston, yeah. legend, man. Killing it on the court at all times. I done been to the game as a youngest scene, you open. And, you know, for, for the youngest that's out there that want to get to where you were in the NBA, who really had that passion and desire for it, I remember you said something when you told my boy Jay something. You said, because he told me, he's like, when you get to the NBA, man, you playing somebody good every single night. Every night you're facing off with somebody who's good, man. And what kind of advice did you give them as far as discipline? And what, what, what does it take to get to that next level? Now, I, I think it's about the love and your passion for something, right? I think for me, you know, the discipline came because I had just the love and the passion. I always wanted to be able to hoop and try to improve my game and just improve my knowledge of it by studying different players and just being a huge fan of the game of basketball. You know, obviously I had a dream to make it to the NBA, but it, it was just a dream to be able to get there to play against some of the best players in the world. And that was my, my ultimate challenge uh, growing up is it wasn't trying to make the money or anything of that nature. It was about you know, me being able to look at my idols that I grew up watching and being able to get on the same court and, and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And I was, I was blessed enough to be able to, um, to do that, you know, against all the guys I grew up watching, to be able to compete and get their respect is, is one of the main things why I enjoy playing, playing basketball, is just to get respect from other people and, and, and hoping to make other people happy by watching me perform. Nah, so, every night y'all was suiting up at Willow Ridge High School. This is for Houston, man. All right. Every night. Did you ever, because y'all went, what, what year did y'all go undefeated? My last year, my, my senior last year. Yeah. Okay. So y'all went undefeated, the five on the court at all times going up, man. And I know one game, I see you won it at the last minute with a short drop. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember. Booker T. Washington, yeah. Booker T. Washington, man. Yeah. I stayed in Greenspoint, so I was right up the street. And, uh, you know, we were told in to it. Everything going in Booker T. I think you and Tech went in. And, Me and Tech. You and yeah. Tech in your mind, did you know, even on that last shot, that, hey, I'm going to win this game tonight? Or was it like you was kind of skeptical on the No, no, no. I mean, I always want the ball, yeah. you know, at, at the end of the game, whether to make make a play, whether it's scoring or make a pass. But, I, I mean, Floyd Mayweather said it best, you know what I mean? Like, he, he's been at that stage before. So, for us, that wasn't our first time at that big stage or in those moments. So, you know, for us, you know, it was it was second nature. You know, we wasn't we wasn't panicking. We still had belief. You still had trust, and your confidence was still there. But only because we we've been in that moment plenty, plenty of times, man. And so, from an emotional standpoint, we was able to stay relaxed, and you know, your confidence able to be in there and trust yourself because you've been there before. Thanks, man. Thanks, hey, Ace Town, Hoop Legend, Hoop Legend all around. One of the best fundamentally sound point guards in this game from the youngest to come in and make history in this city, in this state, and then come back to UT, you know, and, and do what you're doing over there. What's happening with the community on all sides and all levels of influence and everything going on, man. Shout out to TJ Ford. Appreciate you tapping in. Earth Podcast TV, man. Mad love, man. Appreciate it.